We see the Hell in a Cell cage just dangling above the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome at this time Alberto Del Rio's personal ring announcer, Ricardo Rodriguez. Damas y caballeros, les presento al hombre que ganará su título otra vez, al orgullo de México, el patrón. Él es Alberto. You know, King, Alberto Del Rio is right. I've never heard of a situation before where a man loses the WWE Championship and is then granted his rematch under triple threat rules inside Hell in a Cell. Well, you make a valid point there, Michael, but CM Punk also deserves a rematch. This all came about because of the awkward situation of the double WWE champions, CM Punk and John Cena. Alberto Del Rio being tied in between these two intrinsically as now all three of them have to settle their differences in hell in a cell here at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. And CM Punk now making his entrance after his fresh defeat, defeat over Triple H. long CM Punk has been talking about how he should be the favorite here tonight because he's been in a Hell in a Cell match before against the greatest cell competitor of all time Undertaker well if that's the mind game he's playing with himself so be it surviving a Hell in a Cell match with Undertaker is a mighty feat the extra combatants not getting an entrance announcement apparently as Alberto got his special announcement by his special ring announcer Ricardo Rodriguez, now CM Punk, make his way to the ring with no particular announcement. One of the other two competitors in this matchup, the last being the current WWE Champion, John Cena. CM Punk would later to also face Undertaker once again at WrestleMania. Will his experience with Taker in Hell in a Cell prove more fruitful here tonight than the others experience. The current champion making his way down to the ring, John Cena, wearing that belt around his waist. John Cena only won the WWE oh, Championship two weeks ago. He defeated Alberto Del Rio in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. So I believe John Cena should have to defend only against Del Rio tonight. Well, your points are somewhat valid, but the CEO made the work. decision. He's the one calling the shots. John Cena with the same bright shirt, this time covered by that gold belt of the spinning WWE Championship. Will he leave this triple threat match here tonight with that championship still around that waist? Or will it go to one of these other two competitors? Both have held the title very recently. Alberto Del Rio just losing it to John Cena. And Alberto Del Rio taking that from CM Punk just a few short months ago. As we see John Cena holding that title now above his head signifying the champ is here. This match is yet another controversial decision by our COO, who is showing blatant favoritism in my mind by allowing CM Punk in this match and giving him this opportunity. Look, the way I see it, he made it fair. He made it even for every one of these competitors to come out here and have a chance to win the WWE Championship. Everything is square and even here as both men actually go straight for me as this is not going to have any sort of color and elbow type. Those do not happen in triple threat matches. You see each man taking their opportunity now to take advantage of my momentary weakness as we see me still having trouble as now I am at health half of my first health bar away as these two competitors have very little damage done to them. 
championship matches. And now I've got to be careful. Let John Cena take over for a minute. And that'll maybe attack John Cena. We have to focus on Punk. Get him damaged moderately. But not let John Cena get his own advantage over us. And if you did not notice at the beginning, I am playing Alberto Del Rio. As now we're working together with Cena. And actually accidentally attacking Cena with that suplex. And now trying to attack Punk. We're going to need to focus on one area if at all possible. But we get countered by Cena and now we go for that suplex. Going back and forth between these competitors now. CM Punk attacking Cena. We are having a hard time as he counters our elbow. But we're able to grab him now and grab his head and go for a suplex here. CM Punk in the center of your screen. If you look at his face, it'll sometimes change to a damage readout. And we, if we get one of the sections of his damage readout to go to orange, we will check off that box in the top left corner as we go for a suplex once again against Punk. As we see Cena trying to go for us. He did try for that grab a bit too early and we did not get any sort of reversal. And once again, those grabs from the ground, very tough to counter as Punk now taking care of our Cena problem. And we got yellow in the chest of Punk as Punk gets whipped into the corner there. We'll take a shot at that back and let Cena continue his work. Punk able to counter there. And it seems almost fake going back down after that counter to Cena because we tried to grab him as we target those arms and kick that we got once again. Ooh, a very short DDT. We gotta try and keep the energy up here as Punk is down to his second bar of energy. Countered by Cena as we're trying to continuously grab Punk. And this time we are going for another suplex to damage that center mass of CM Punk. Because now we have a signature maneuver and we got a DT by John Cena. We want to try and get give them some breathing room and see if we can get Punk over here and do a nice suplex hit in the back. No, I'm not sure. Okay. Perform an insecurity signature move on Punk. As we see him down on the ground. We have to wait for Cena to be done with him. Punk going for a comeback maneuver against Cena and actually getting it. As we wait for this uh, long, drawn out animation to finish. Now to get this insecurity, we need to get Punk in a corner, and it looks like Punk is actually going for a big signature maneuver of his own, as we can grab. We don't want him pinning Cena. That would not be good. And that was a bit too strong. Of a Irish whip. You need to whip him lightly into the corner in the and do this into Gary. I mean, this triple threat has oh. been incredible! Inside Hell in a Cell! And Cena with the STF! Remember, if Del Rio taps out, Cena wins! Pump is down, he can't help it. Wait a minute! What is Ricardo doing? Ricardo knocked down the official, he opened up the, the cell! Oh. Hey, he had a steel pipe in his hand. The job, Cena. Cena thwarting Ricardo. Oh, look at him. Oh, hey, hey, outside the cell. That's it for Ricardo, but what's that steel pipe? Oh, man, right to the midsection. And now Del Rio is, is closing that, that door on a steel cage. He's locked. How smart is that, King? Now Del Rio makes sure it's one on one. Cena has been taken out of the picture. Cena has been taken out of the picture. Oh! Cena can't get in the cell. Cena can't get in the cell. 
Yo, Rio using that, that steel pipe and seen him struggling, trying to get in, but there's no way. That, that door's locked. Now mocking Cena. Man, brilliant strategy from Del Rio. Now we've got well, control Cena back. Locked outside the cage now, this becomes a one on one match with Alberto Del Rio and Cena. I'm not sure if we're actually Remember, able to pin on the inside no here. This Does not seem this like we are. Oh, so if we can, we kind of want to um, counter him and get the advantage on the outside. We actually have to beat him by pinfall. As it seems that we were able to counter that and now we can run ourselves into the center of the ring and taunt calling for Punk to get up and get back in this ring. We're probably going to apply the cross arm breaker, cancel it and we're going back between the ropes. And then go for the pin. Remember, CM Punk lost his WWE Championship. As we got this finisher here, we want to apply it. Then John Cena beat Alberto Del Rio and then let go. And actually, it seemed that that finisher took a lot of energy out now. Let's see if we can actually go for a pin right here. One, two, three. looking on from outside the cell. This is unbelievable. What a travesty, Cole. I can't believe I saw what I just saw. Travesty? I'd say it was brilliant. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, you would say that. 